What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Luke, here with another video. We're actually doing a little intro video here for a series I'll be building up on YouTube. I've had some students ask me uh, for some clarification here or there when they're building their full stack web applications. And I figured this video series will build something simple because everyone liked the to-do list example I did, except we're going to be focusing more on the back end with the database and the server with just like before, just a kind of simply styled and basic functionality front end, just talking more about the workflow of data that exists in a database is queried by a server and is sent as a response to a website that made a request for it or a Postman tab. So this might feel a little bit slower code-wise than some of my other videos, or maybe we won't. We'll see how it ends up because I've done some planning, but not a whole lot since I kind of thrive more organically. But... Yeah, like it might feel slower code-wise just because I'll be spending more time talking about the how, where, and why we're going to be writing some of our tidbits of code and not necessarily focusing on let's crank out as much as possible to make a fully featured to-do list application, which there's billions out there. So, well, billions is a bit of an over-exaggeration, but you know what I mean. The idea is to just make sure that you guys understand the fundamentals of what's going on here. That way you can go on to build as many CRUD applications as you want, which is which is what I highly recommend you do. The first video after this little introduction, establishing our purpose and our goal for this series is gonna be going over the boilerplate. So it's actually gonna be a video I'll be using in the course uh, during the boilerplate section where we build it up. So we're gonna talk about how that whole thing works so y'all understand what's going on and how to debug it better. I've used it so many times that I just know it's ins and outs pretty well. There's things that could be cleaned up a touch. I actually updated the README and a lot of the packages as of recently. So check out the boilerplate link in the next video to our repository. We'll be using it for our build here. And just keep in mind that this is to just to go over the, the core concepts of what y'all are coding and learning and using and doing and you know, it, I'm not going to say this is the best or be all and end all. This is the way you're always going to do it. I'm going to show y'all a solid way to set up your projects, to set y'all up for success. And that way you have a great foundation to start learning bigger and better and crazier and nuttier and cooler things. So strap on in and let's get to coding and we'll go ahead and see y'all in the next video talking about the boilerplate and pretty much why the boilerplate. See y'all there. 